Greetings. The feminists keep talking about how they want a video game with a strong female protagonist. And, well, there are plenty of games that already have a strong female protagonist. But they don't want any of those, so... People say, all right, you want one? Make your own game! Since we have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> and, well, here's their idea of a strong female protagonist. To play it, I'm going to have my mother play it. So it says, good morning. Isn't it a beautiful day to be a woman? It's time to get up and go about your business doing lady things. But can't do that. It, your pajamas, I think they made in. They don't know how to spell. You need some clothes. Open the wardrobe. Hey, okay, wardrobe. Wow, you've got some super awesome outfits in here. What would you like to wear today? Party dress and killer heels? N no. Jeans and a cute unicorn t-shirt. Shirt, denim shirt with strappy top. Sensible pinstripe trousers and pastel shirt. Reliable old track suit. Um, I'll go with the jeans first. Me and Dump back with the party dress eventually. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens with the jeans and the cute unicorn t-shirt. Smile. Nobody can feel sad when you're wearing a unicorn now. That you've dressed, where do you want to go first? The office, the supermarket, the gym. Do supermarket. I don't think I'd go to the office in jeans and a unicorn t shirt. On your way to the supermarket, a van pulls up next to you. The driver says he's seen you around and thinks you're very attractive, so can he have your number? You say no and keep walking, but he crawls along. Needs next to you until you run into a shop to hide. Why would you do that? <laughs> Surprise, you've been sexually harassed. You feel embarrassed that you you have to go home and cry to your cat. Okay, Bernice, uh, Mom, what would you have done in that situation? Um... See, he crawls along and next to you until, well, um, I would just keep on with what I was doing and ignore him. But if he continued to follow me, um, that's not sexually harassing. That's stalking. And I would be heading towards the nearest police station. <laughs> do you want to try again? Yeah, let's see what else we can do. Maybe you'll do better. Open the wardrobe. Well, I don't know. Okay, let's wear the party dress just for the heck of it. See what we can do there. All right. Okay, this, dr this dress really highlights your natural curves. So now you are already sexy to start with. Now that you've dressed, where do you want to go first? The office, the supermarket, the gym? I don't see anywhere you could go in a party dress. <laughs> I really tend to question, but what the hell? Let's go to the office in a party dress. This should be interesting. Okay, on your way to work, a builder or some scuff along, wolf whistles at you, asks you if you'd like to come up and give him a blowjob. Oh no, you've been sexually harassed. You lose 100 self-esteem points and wish that the ground would open up and swallow you. Okay, yeah, well, it, Mom, again, I'm going to ask, what would you have done? Um... I would have uh, said, no thanks, I've had better, and keep going. <laughs> okay, now, what is your impression of this character so far? I'm a total loser. <laughs> Next wardrobe. I don't know why you would wear a party dress to any of those places. That's sort of asking for it, I guess, if you're going to be asking for it. Unless you're going to a party, why would you wear a party dress? Unless there's a party at the office, maybe. Okay, let's try the denim, sh the denim shirt and strappy top. Well, there's parties at the gym you go to. Yeah, that's true. Okay, 
Looking cool for the summer. Now you're dressed. Where are you going to go? Um, let's go to the gym. What the hell? Okay. On the walk to the gym, a man starts making sex noises at you. When you look the other way and try to ignore him, he calls you a dyke. Ouch, you've been sexually harassed. Maybe, maybe not. What if you are? <laughs> Try again. Maybe you'll do now. I don't think you're ever going to do better in this game. This is a losing game. Let's see. Um, well, we'll go with the reliable old tracks. Oh, no. We've got the pinstripe. The pinstripe uh, trousers and pastel shirt. I still think it has to do with the clothes. I don't know, but anyway. Okay, we're going to go to the coffee shop this time. On your way to the coffee shop, a man starts following you and asking why you keep walking away from him. Well, because you weren't walking towards him in the first place? Uh-oh. You've attracted an unwanted attention, otherwise known as sexual harassment. It's time to pick up the tattered remains of your self-confidence and go home. Well, gee, if you lose your self-confidence that easily, um, why even go out the door? <laughs> Maybe you'll do better this time. One more time. Last wardrobe thing. Reliable old track suit. That probably should be Jim, but, you know. Have I been to the coffee shop yet? Yeah, prob probably haven't. We'll go to the coffee shop. And then I might come back and go to the gym later. On your walk to the coffee shop, a man starts shouting, Hey, baby, at you. When you look the other way and try to ignore him, he calls you an ugly whore. Uh-oh, you've been sexually harassed? Because he's calling you an ugly whore? <laughs> Otherwise known as sexual harassment, it's time to pick up tattered remains of your self-confidence. Well, you know... Again, you know, no self-confidence. I mean, you know you're not a whore. The guy's an ass. <laughs> Next. Okay, we're going to do the tracksuit. Tracksuit, go to the gym. You hardly made it out the front door when the teenage boy cycles past shouting slag, whatever that is. He spits at you, and some of it gets on your shoes. Ew. Ouch. You've been sexually harassed? Do you... Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 Does that pounds. even sound like sexual... I mean, that sounds like harassment, but sexual harassment? Yeah, I don't see anything sexual about it. it it's like... Excuse me? Uh, yeah, yeah it, the teenage boy is a freaking brat. Yeah. But, uh, but he's a teenage boy, so I mean, you know, move on. How do you win? You ignore it and keep going with your life and don't let these people control you. I think <laughs> I'm done here. <laughs> All yours. <laughs> so hold it. No, uh, quick, quick assessment of the character. Oh, well, the character's a sit total. Down, sit. Character's a total loser. If she can't handle shit like that with people coming at her right away. I mean, if you're a strong protagonist, you know you're not gonna let stuff like that bother you. So, so this is like, so this is their answer to, to people saying that if you want a strong pro female protagonist, make your own. And this is what they give us. Yeah, I, I a total loser. Do, do, do we not question their definition of strong? Yeah. <laughs> where, where, where's the strength? The strength would be in what you do next in, or in, in dealing with it, not saying, oh, well, after they do that, your life is over. <laughs> because you haven't even had, you know, you haven't even had the opportunity to be strong. <laughs> I mean, if, every, if, if that's the end of it, you, there's no strength there. You might as well, like I said, stay home. Don't get out of the bed. <laughs> All yours. In closing, there are assholes in the world. Guys got to deal with the same bullshit. And they do. And, yeah, I mean, there are people who just don't treat people right. It's not... <laughs> what the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> just let them run your life? Ugh. <laughs>